Are you gonna start waking up? Huh? You gonna start waking up for mama? My goodness, you all cozy warm, huh? You gonna start waking up? He gets all snuggled down in the covers. Oh, wait. We gonna go see daddy? Gotta wake up. Yeah, gotta wake up. Mm -hmm. Hello! Guess where Buster and I are going? We're going to have lunch with Daddy. He works close enough that we can do this, and I don't have anything else planned today. And it kind of helps break up his day. Gets Buster out. And we're gonna go have lunch. Then I'm gonna get back home to water my mom's on the mailbox. All right, so if you've watched today's video, today's actually Thursday and I put a video up and it was mind blown, you know, I couldn't believe my luck. I went from none to two. What do you think? Oh my goodness. If you haven't watched that video, why? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but watch the video. Um, I went thrifting yesterday, and let me just tell you, I scored, and um, just could not believe my luck, honestly. The Lord really, really showed out and blessed me so good yesterday, but um, I'm just, <sighs> so I've placed the other item on Facebook Marketplace, for very, very inexpensive because if I could just like, I mean, I don't need it. So just a few dollars would be fine with me. So I've, I've priced it like to go. So hopefully somebody will, has been looking for it and will scoop it up. Um, we have an exciting weekend this weekend that is going to require lots of prayer. <laughs> when I tell you what we got on tap for the weekend, you're going to understand it. I'm definitely, James and I are going to need your prayers and Buster. <laughs> we are keeping the grandbabies. <laughs> We're going to keep them Saturday night and Sunday night, and then their mama will get them on Monday sometime. But we're excited. But as you all know, when you're not used to little ones, they can wear you out. <laughs> so, <laughs> please pray for us that we can endure and have the strength and the energy to keep up with two very young, very hyper little boys. And um, it's going to be an adventure. Poor Buster. <laughs> He's an old soul too. He lives with two old people. So, we're very excited about it. And, uh, looking forward to it but oh my goodness is it gonna wear us out I can already tell so I've already made up my mind I'm not gonna worry about the house I'm gonna do what I can tight you know keep it tidy but you know my eyes are watering so bad today I don't know why but they are so that's what's going on this weekend We're looking forward to that. And I told James, no sleeping in for him. <laughs> no naps for him. Um, so, yeah. Quite the adventure. But other than that, I mean, that's enough. But other than that, we don't really have anything planned. Um, so, we'll just kind of be hanging at home might take them like for a walk on the beach we have a little um play area in our neighborhood we might take them to and already james has already got some ideas for them things to do so it'll be fun be exciting so y'all just pray for us because we old and they not <laughs> so um other than that, I'm trying to 
to think, is there anything else going on or has been going on? Not really. Um, uh, just kind of fighting this whole... Oh, thank you, dude. We're going to do that, too. Just fighting this whole shoulder neck issue. Um, it's just something that from years of doing hair and one of the main reasons I cannot do hair anymore um, is because of my naked shoulder. But, um, pulled out my hat. Gonna be a casual day today. Love this hat. Uh, got some questions on this hat. I did get it from Cracker Barrel and it was $14.99. Well worth it. It has the Velcro thing in the back. which I totally prefer the Velcro. Um, but it's kind of like a, it's like a corduroy type material, but I love it. And honestly, I've really considered going and buying me a backup because I love it so much, but I haven't yet. But yeah, love this hat. Perfect for fall. I honestly, I mean, well, the material's so thick. I don't know that you'd want to wear it in the summer or anything, but definitely perfect for fall. Y'all know me. I love a good hat. Anytime I don't have to fix my hair, I'm good with it. I think I'm going to be contacting Summer and um, I definitely need, I don't know, I need some kind of haircut or something. Um, it's just like too heavy. I have so much hair and it's just so heavy. So, um, I'm so glad I listened to her the last time because... I told her what I wanted. She's like, well, we probably need to take a little bit more because in a couple of weeks, and I was like, yeah, you're right. But now I'm thinking we should have taken even more. But thank God I listened to her that time. But also, I hate our water. Um, I think we have hard water. And I have not been able to find, as long as we've lived down here, which we've lived down here since 2017, and I have not been able to find a shampoo that does good on my hair at all. Like, for a long time, the only shampoo that I could get that would really work on my hair is Sell Some Blue. Just plain old Sell Some Blue. Nothing fancy, just Sell Some Blue. I know. It's crazy. But that's got to where it don't even work now. Uh, and I, look, look, y'all, I have tried everything. I have tried, I have went and bought the shampoos for hard water, and it just makes my hair so limp, and just, it, like, makes it still feel oily, and I know it's crazy. I don't know what's going on. Then I would have this weird combination where I'd have oily scalp and dry ends, but I didn't dare put conditioner in my hair because, you know. So then I got the shampoo for oily scalp, dry ends, and I got the conditioner for the oily scalp and the dry. I have tried everything. I do not know how to handle this, and I've done hair for years, and I've even consulted hairdresser friends. I have Googled, I have done everything, and I cannot find a shampoo that I like that will work on my hair. So, if you have the same problem, and when I tell y'all, I'm going to explain what my water does. Okay, so like if I pour my water in my coffee pot, it will leave, like if some splashes on the coffee pot, it will leave like that white residue. So, I'm assuming, I'm thinking that's hard water. So, if y'all have the same kind of water and y'all have thick hair that tends to be oily, what shampoo do y'all use that works for y'all? I would love to know because I gotta have some help. Like, I have literally went from the cheapest to the most expensive, uh, name brand, generic, uh, you name it, I've tried it. I've tried, um, I've tried like, it used to, um, 
when I would really want like my hair to have lots of volume and not be oily at the scalp, I would use Redken's uh, Guts, which is like a leave-in. Like, you spray it on your wet hair, you blow dry it, and it kind of, it will kind of like make your hair feel dry. It does make my hair feel really dry. I even bought some of that, used it one time, and it was horrible. It just like totally just reacted with everything. So, I'm sure it's a combination of my water. I'm sure it's a combination of hormones. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. So, that's my hair dilemma. So, that is a lot of the reason why I just put a hat on a lot of days because it is just too much. Just too much. So, if y'all can help a sister out, maybe y'all, maybe you're a hairdresser, maybe it's personal experience, whatever, I would love to know anything that you might can tell me that you, if you've experienced this, so, that's that. I'm trying to get another headache today, but it's on the other side now, oh my goodness. Just, I don't know and I really I feel like it's allergies it's really allergies because I can tell but I don't have anything to take for daytime allergies I need to go get some of that because I'm also out of my vitamins um, and I needed to get some more vitamins because I do not want to um, I've been out of my vitamins for a couple days and y'all just they're helping me so much like James can see the difference in me I can see the difference in me, and um, I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I take the prenatal gummy vitamins. I take them every night, and um, it has totally helped me. And um, I also take a vitamin D because before, when I've had my blood checked, when I worked for the hematologist, they, she did a bunch of labs on me. And my vitamin D was like really, really low. So I take a small dose of vitamin D every night and I can really tell the difference. So I don't, I'm not like giving medical advice at all. This is just what I've decided that I was gonna try and it's working for me because I'm feeling better, have more energy, with the exception of this week. <laughs> but we all have weeks like that from time to time, right? But overall, I feel better. I have more energy. And um, so I don't want to like go without. I need to get some more vitamins. So I get them from Walmart. I think they're like um, 10 88 for a bottle of 90. And I use this, the dosage is two. So I, I take two every night before I get to bed. And they're, they're gentle for your stomach because I have a, my stomach can be very sensitive to stuff like that. So, hence one of the reasons I take them at night. And these are made to be a little more gentle on the stomach. So, when I did my grocery order the other day, they were out of them. So, I wasn't able to get them. So, I'm going to have to run to Walmart and give me some today. But, that's about it going on with me um my mom's been real sick so um, she just has a really bad cold um allergies and crap you know so um she's getting a lot better now I've had some of y'all ask about granny because y'all that y'all noticed that I haven't said a whole lot about granny. Granny has well, you know, since November of last year, she's been through a lot. <laughs> she broke her arm and that took months and months of therapy. That got better. It's it still causes her some pain, but it's it's healed and it's better. Then she broke her hip, um, and she had to have surgery for that, and then she was in a rehab facility for, like, I think, about 10 days, and then she got to come home, and they continued therapy um, at home, and she's doing 
great with that. Like, she gets around fine, but she is very cautious because uh, she was literally just standing up and her hip broke. I mean, and she fell. Like, it wasn't she was doing anything, which and, and I think that's very common. Um, so, while she was, that was going on, she had, um, was having some eye problems. Really, really bad eye problems she was in a lot of pain with her eyes she couldn't really see well and she had gotten um, some eye infections and um, several trips to the doctor for that when well, she finally come through that and she could see now like it was to the point where she couldn't even do her little sewing her embroidery she couldn't do anything because she couldn't reach because she couldn't see very well but all that's cleared up and um, she's sewing and reading and you know doing great so she's had a rough go of it but she as always is a trooper and she has come through all of that and she's doing great um i don't go up there a whole lot right now um my niece has moved in basically with her staying with her and um, we just stay down here all week and then the time we go up there on Saturdays to help Jake and we're a little we, we do try to run by and say hey and love on her and see her for a minute but um, it's real quick in and out kind of thing but um, hopefully life's going to slow down a little bit once we get the kids in their house and we will have more time to um, go up there and just kind of, you know, spend time with her. I want to get up there and get another video with her. Um, in fact, I've been talking to her about that. I'm like, we got it. We need to do a video. But for so long there, she wasn't able to. And so we just have to kind of gauge it and see. But. She's, she's doing good. She's hanging in there. She'll text, call. Uh, I call her. She'll call me. We'll text. So, she's just, she's a sweetheart. And I'm fixing to pull in and get some gas. I'll probably do it on the way back. It's up on the other side. Um, but, yeah, she's doing great. So, that's the update on Granny. Um, thank y'all so much for asking about her and caring about her. She's precious and we love her. Oh, I should have pulled in there now. Anyway. <laughs> so, I am going to get off here. I have jabbered on for about 17 minutes. And this video is going to be too long. So, let me get off of here and I will touch base with y'all a little bit. Okay, I just left Ollie's. I went to Ollie's. I went to Rose's and they had a grand opening of a new Dollar Tree at this location and all were a bust. So, Ollie's had some beautiful curtains but they were the wrong length. They all, all the links were 84 and I need 95, 96. So that was a bust, but it's just one of those things you just never know, you know, until you, until you go. So I'm fixing to get home. I'm not feeling very good today. Um, my head, my neck, shoulder is like really really bothered me so I think I'm gonna get home and just kind of chill out uh, take me something for my head I'm actually gonna take some for my head today because it's really really getting bad so feels like sinus today so not gonna be a downer. I'm gonna get home and do that and just call it a day. Um, 
sorry it wasn't very exciting. Sorry that we didn't get to do the mirror. Um, I'm just, it's not a good day for me. So I will touch base with y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.